so this is John Hodian. I'm the composer uh, of the Nagash Ensemble, and I'm going to read a poem uh, that I've set to music uh, by uh, Mogadish Nagash, the kind of the the main poet we've we've spent our our past 15 years setting uh, his words to music. And I, I picked this poem because I feel like it's it's the one that first attracted to me to him. I used the word kharib earlier, which is this very early, uh, it's actually an Arabic word, but it was used in what they call Middle Armenian, an ancient form of Armenian that these poems are written in. So you should know that the word kharib is the synonymous with stranger or exile or wanderer or, you know, outsider, okay? Uh, so uh, this this poem is called Composed in Exile, and it's on, uh, luckily we, uh, all of our CDs come with these books, and the books have uh, all the poems translated into multiple languages. They're actually all very beautiful. A lot of uh, the paintings that Nagash did, he was also a painter, and they're always essays about the ensemble or about the poetry, and they're also translated into multiple languages. Each book is in English, Armenian, French, and German. Uh, so luckily I have one handy. I'm going to read it in English. And the poem is called Compose in Exile. I'm just going to read a few stanzas from it. And again, remember this word, Ghari, because I, that's it's hard to translate that word. I'm going to use the original word, Ghari, which means stranger. Soul, don't say Ghari, or else my heart will bleed. A Ghari in a strange land has a hard time indeed. Like a bird that strays from its flock with nowhere to rest disoriented until it reaches his end. Kharib, don't take it to heart. These difficult days will pass. Every Kharib has made it home. Don't worry, you will too. They say that God is merciful and will bless every Kharib. May he also help you realize your heart's desire. We are all Kharibs, brothers. No one ever has a homeland. We are all bound together because the afterlife is our homeland. Find the way here on earth so that your soul is not tormented in the hereafter. Make the saints your friends and turn the angels into loved ones. What I love about this poem is, that, again, he was a poet and a priest. And he's, he, he in a lot of his poems, and in this one in particular, he's saying, you know, don't, don't be fooled by the things of this world, by all the material things of this world, uh, you know. Uh, don't worry that you don't have a homeland. Nobody has a homeland. This is not our homeland. We're only here temporarily. You know, we're all headed to, in terms of what Nagash believed, uh, and a, a obviously a very devout Christian, but he believed that, you know, the home, the, the hereafter, once we die, we go to our true homeland. Uh, and it's a very beautiful thought. And again, many of his poems have to deal with this concept of living life in exile. How much of a Harib are you? I am. I mean, now, Harib also has a connotation of kind of pitiful one or sorrowful one, or, you know, I am not that. I have wandered the earth because I am fortunate enough to do so, not because I had to do so. I haven't had to flee religious persecution uh, as my grandparents did. You know, my grandmother was an Armenian genocide survivor. Very, very intense story. Um, so many people who are kharibs, who are exiles, are do so out of necessity. I am extremely fortunate to do so out of privilege, basically, because, you know, people hire me to perform in, in other countries. So that's a wholly different thing. So while I sometimes feel like a, a wanderer in an exile, I'm not sure where my homeland is, I in no way, uh, you know, I don't compare myself to the Khadid that, that Nagash is talking about in his poems.